Hey guys, it's Larry with Packmaster Dog Training. Um, I'm here waiting for Bear, the human aggressive German Shepherd. This is going to be lesson three with Bear. Uh, lesson two, I basically did the same thing that you guys saw on uh, on the first lesson, completely hands off. I have not handled this dog yet. Everything was done through the owners. So today will be lesson three. This is normally the time where I start handling the dogs. So today we'll have a muzzle on Bear and we're gonna go ahead and start handling him. I don't know what to expect. Now you may see a really ferocious beast. Um, that's what he he acts like, but in reality, a lot of that just comes from fear. Actually, all of it comes from fear. You know, this is a dog that was shot, so his response is to blow up on any person he sees trying to keep them away. So. Um, you may see a pretty bad situation with him when I take the leash today. He will be muzzled, of course. Or it is very possible that you see a dog that does everything he can to avoid me. He may hide behind his owners. Uh, that's very, very possible. So don't be surprised if that's the case. And I don't have anything planned. I'm just going to handle him, work him, and try to build that confidence a little bit. Try to get away that fear. Um, try to show him that he doesn't have to behave that way. Uh, it's going to be hopefully very non-eventful, okay? But um, we'll see what happens when he gets here. And again, not not really sure what to expect. But you guys wanted me to film this dog. And I understand why. Um, a lot of people talk about training aggressive dogs. There's a lot of videos out there, you know, aggressive dog trainings, human aggressive dog. But in reality, when you go to the videos, you don't see an aggressive dog. You always see the after, but they don't film the before. That's when you need to be suspicious. Um, of course, we can't film everything we do. I understand that. But if you're posting videos constantly working with aggressive dogs, but you're only filming the after, for one, it's not helping anyone. And for two, uh, I don't believe it. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of people working with, with aggressive dogs. And there's even less being successful with it. There are some out there. Hats off to you guys that are doing it. And for people, for trainers that don't do it or don't want to do it, absolutely nothing wrong with that either. Um, I think I'm an idiot for doing it, actually. But like I said, we're sitting here waiting. They'll be here in a few minutes. And uh, I'm going to have Sophia do the filming when I'm handling the dog. And hopefully we get some, some positive footage here. If we get some bad footage, you're going to see that too because everyone's got to see the bad with the good. All right? see you guys in a couple guys, of minutes. One other thing that I, uh, I, I didn't mention in the, in the first part of this video, um, the training that you're seeing here, this is done once a week or once every other week with me. This is me teaching the owners on what needs to be done. This is a very small part of it. The real training happens at home. The things that the owners are doing or not doing in the home, that's where the real success or failures come from. Um, it's not a coincidence that every troubled dog that I see, um, they all have the same habits in the house, you know, a lack of rules, lack of boundaries, just a lot of chaos. The dogs pretty much do what they want. They sleep where they want. They're on a very, very equal, equal playing field with the owners. Um, that's a problem. If you can't change your behaviors that are creating these issues, or are stopping you from fixing the issues, that's a problem. I can't do it by myself. Um, I have a small part in it. My job is to educate the owners. The real success comes from what they can do at home. They're with the dog all the time, every day, seven days a week. That's where the real success comes from, okay? We're, you know, you're a team with your dog. It's a team, but you're the captain of that team, okay? Doesn't have to be a dictatorship, but the dog cannot be on equal level with you you'll never get them out of these issues like this you know you gotta take control and learn what needs to be done in the house in the home that's where the real training comes from all right okay a couple more minutes
we see where it's at now. Yep. Okay. So there you see, there's no fake in it there. Okay. That's serious. So he got me through the muzzle. So he's he's in really bad shape, okay? But I have to take the leash to see, am I gonna hide or am I gonna fight? He'd rather hide, but he had no choice but to fight. So now we know where we can continue from there, okay? That was a lot of pressure I put on that dog. I kinda had to at this point to see where he was at. Now we're gonna take it back. A lot less pressure, let the owners go back to work on him, okay? See you later. They keep working them? Okay, this is a few minutes after after I handled them. We took the muzzle off. I don't want that added stress. We're gonna go back to working, okay? Bring him up on the place, Randy. Now I want him to start holding it longer, okay? Relax, I want you to be calm. We'll see how long it takes if he does blow up on me. But see, now he's, he's, he's back to being close. So right there, as, as long as he's looking around like that, if he gets fixated on me and you see the blow up, correct him before the blow up comes. But that's good. So just be quicker before he gets off. Okay, because see, these little things are going to be important now. Now we saw where he's at mentally. Now we're going to push the obedience to a much higher level. And now we're going to start working on the things that he blows up with, which is people. But we'll go to a safe place and work from a safe distance. And then we'll be able to get closer and closer and closer. Okay? But uh, he just has to get up. So, yep, just correct him before he gets off of there. Let him know he can't get off. Now we're going to start expecting a lot more. First couple of weeks, we were very, very easy there wasn't much correcting and uh we didn't put any added pressure on him but now we're gonna we're gonna demand a lot more from him now okay so now have him sit on there keep your arm down i want everything i want you being relaxed so i don't want no no arm raise in the air i want there to be good leverage and very very calm from you okay now bring him over to the other one i want the same thing no rewarding right now we're good now we start weaning away from rewards and it'll be coming intermittently did you ask him to down? No. Okay. What you ask him to do? Just get on the floor. Okay, that's fine then. Then he can do what he want. Now ask him to sit. There are seats. Seats. Okay, see he needs to respond to the verbal command. Okay? So go ahead and put him in it. See this stuff's important, guys, because it all it all leads in to fixing the issues. We have to make the obedience very, very high. It'll make everything else a little bit easier, okay? Yeah. Now down him. Good. Give him a lot of leash and walk around. Now I want you to stop him from getting up before he gets on there, okay? Now sit him. If you use hand signals, use the hand signals. That's okay. But you see, down is his strong is his strongest command. Yep. So he'll always revert to that. Okay, what we want his strongest command to be is anything we tell him to do. So all the basics. So we want him to know. Bring it back over to the other place, Randy. Now, I may be speaking too early, but if you notice, he's not having his usual blow-ups on me. Yeah. And I'm very close. So we fought. We battled a little bit. We see where he's at. But already a little better, a little less stress. So if he was to glare at me now, Randy, if he gets fixated... Okay, right there. See how he's looking? Stop him right there. Put him back up there. Okay, so right there, what you saw was the ears moved. He stopped breathing for a second. The licking came. He's about to blow up. If you guys start catching that before it happens, it's going to make it a lot easier. And that could just be a little leash correction. It could just be a little tap on the side. You just want to break him out of that. You know what I mean, guys? And that will go a very long way, very long way. Good. Now what I want you to do, Randy, I want you to put him in a heel, and you're going to walk fairly close to me this way, and I want you to correct any any outbursts. Come this way and walk right down the end of my driveway here, so you guys are nice and close to me. Whatever side you normally walk him on. So right there, on that, on that end of the driveway. Ah, very good. Very, very good. So that's very, very close to me, and he was completely comfortable. Come back this way come close again very nice now you see guys this is how it starts this is how we get him comfortable around everyone all the time 
all right so if you feel him tense up randy or he goes to get fixated on me you just give him a little leash correction and you fix it yeah. that's it but that's very nice now we start building on that okay okay good so now you're walking very very nicely with him i want you very relaxed and now all of a sudden this close walking with him he doesn't give a damn about me right now okay i think the fight did us real good today a little bit now if he was to blow up you fix it and we keep moving that's it but very nice this is actually the most relaxed i've seen him since you guys brought him here is it yeah so that's that's perfect very nice and that's why you got to do that a little bit good good job so just a couple of feet away and he's acting like he should okay very guys nice. brooke just made a good point that i forgot to mention um, Bear used to have access to his toys all the time, like a lot of dogs do. I told him, no more of that. Toys come out when we train and play, that's it. So Brooke just told me that Bear hasn't seen a toy in two weeks. Now you see how much faster he is from day one. Now that toy has some meaning, we can use it. Do not keep toys out for your dogs. Put them away. They have absolutely zero meaning when they have access to them all the time, you know? Put him away. Now he loves that toy. Now he's running fast. Now he wants Quick it. at the end of the driveway. And if he doesn't blow up at this golf cart right there, as they go by, he doesn't blow up. You, re you mark it and you throw the toy over there on the grass behind you. Let's reward that behavior. Let's start teaching him that people have to be able to go by. Okay? So, yeah, we have a golf cart coming right now with the family on it. Because this is the stuff we got to start pushing him to do. He's got to be around the things that that bother him, you know. All right, they're taking their they're taking their time. They're switching drivers. <laughs> Here they come. All right, so I want you to relax, Randy. It's very important that you're confident and very comfortable. He blows up. Correct it. He doesn't. As they go by, you mark it and give him the toy. Ah, very nice. Good job. And that's how you end it. Outstanding. Good job, okay, guys. folks. So there you have it. We're all done with our lesson there. Just a little less than an hour, which is a long time for, for that type of that type of work. You know, it's a lot of stress on the dog. Um, but that's that's reality. So you got to see uh, <laughs> that dog will hurt you. He will hurt you. But we're, we're going to fix it. We're going to take our time. And we're going to fix it. I like the way he's looking, playing with the owners. Um, he did great with me on the walk, really close, no issues. Then people coming by, and what um, what Brooke and Randy told me at the end was really important. They've been going on a lot of walks and uh, encountering a lot of strangers, and he's been doing fantastic. Um, there was one instance where they were going past a yard with a, with a bunch of dogs, and the owner came out and confronted them because their dogs were going so crazy, they asked them not to come by their house and walk anymore, which is insane, but there's a lot of idiots out there. And uh, this woman was fairly aggressive and putting a lot of pressure on them and close to the dog, and, and he did fantastic through the whole thing, and, and that's, that's huge. I didn't know that. So um, they are getting him out in public and going on walks and going to parks, and they said he's been doing fantastic. Um, of course, I put the ultimate amount of pressure on him today. I had to see where he's at, and that's why I wait till lesson three. Um, so as long as they are making good progress at home, that's important to me. We'll continue to work, and I'm not sure when I'll handle him again, but we'll see. This is a work in progress, and, and I don't care how long it takes. We're, we're going to fix it. So uh, I hope this benefited somebody, but you got to see that this dog, he will put a hurting on you. He ruined a good $4.99 shirt on me. I'm going to have to go replace it now. See hey you guys. guys, one last thing, and then I'll shut up. I hope, I promise. A um, couple things I could mention uh, about what you saw today. I could have very easily held on to Bear a lot longer, and the explosions would, would have gotten less and less. He would have started to rel relax a little bit after a while. That wasn't the purpose of today. Today was I needed to see where he was at, and I needed to see where the owners were at. Now we'll go back to putting less pressure on the dog. The other thing that I could have made good progress with today is if I would have just started moving forward with him, walking, get him out of here. He would have exploded at me here and there, but it would have gotten easier and easier just with him moving forward with me. That, that always works. It always works no matter what. But again, that wasn't the purpose of today. So there's going to be people who pick this video apart. 
there will be all kinds of criticism. It always happens. You know, everyone's an expert when you're watching a video. And when I go back and watch this whole video put together, I will see plenty of things that we could have done differently. There's no doubt about it. But in the middle, when you're trying to film something like that, it gets, it's very, very difficult. It's not easy, trust me. So those are just two things before people respond to, yes, I could have, I could have kept him longer and it would have gotten better and I could have moved forward and walked with him and it would also got better. We will do that eventually, just not today, okay? This is it. I'm not going to put anything more towards this video. Thanks.